Am I the asshole for breaking up with my BF I thought was cheating on me? I F17 broke up with my boyfriend M16 three months ago, to this day I question if I was truly in the wrong. I know he loves Reddit stories so I hope he doesn't see this. We've been friends since freshman year and ever since then I thought he was gay that didn't stop me from dating him though. We dated for two months? During our friendship he had undiagnosed depression I helped him through his family problems and mental health in his words our friendship was rough because of his lack of self-awareness of his wrongdoings and unending of a blocking and unblocking me and his close friend he's done some pretty messed up stuff to us me and his close friend which led him to lose his best friend completely but I forgave him because I knew how bad his situation and mental health was. I've always liked him deep down but I always questioned his sexuality when we started talking, during our friendship he sent one of those femboy pics to me by accident so that started the spiral of me questioning his sexuality because he said it was for a guy. When we started dating I found out he was doing a favors and posing as a girl for money. He hid me when I found out online in a video game, private chatting with me saying I nearly ruined him getting his money even though I was never told this. I was his first girlfriend so I thought he didn't know that's borderline cheating I wouldn't have minded if he told me but he just hid me. I told one of my friends that knew about him and she told me I was being used as a prop, I don't understand her point but it was something like you're attractive and he's using you as a prop to show off to his friends he finally has a gf as an unattractive closeted guy, I have shitty friends who base looks on character but I didn't care if he was unattractive, he was a good guy. She did persuade me that was the truth so I ended up taking a two-day break without telling him I apologized and said that I was sorry for ghosting him and explained the situation after one of my good friends told me the girl was envious of me and wanted me to not be happy. We continued to date until one of his friends told me he was femboying a for money again. I didn't believe him because he did lie but that same day my boyfriend sent a sticker from a femboy server discord I questioned him myself but I didn't believe him but I stayed with him. I did need a break though so I told him I need to take a break to clear my head I'm going through a lot right now and it isn't your fault I made it clear we weren't breaking up and that I genuinely was going through a lot at home and with the relationship I thought he would understand because I would vent about my problems but remembering it he never acknowledged my feelings and would always change the topic. When I came back I apologize once again, this time he ignored the fact I was going through a tough time at home and said I broke up with him I didn't. We went off back and forth until I was fed up with his victim blaming. He told me I left him and that what I did was wrong, also that his friends didn't like me because I was changing him the only thing I tried changing about him was him not validating people's feelings and ignoring when people say stop no also his outlook on life and the fact he would pretend to be a girl for money behind my back. Am I the asshole? Story 2 my roommate says I should be the one to pay for a new trash can. I 21F live in an off-campus house with two other roommates. This conversation happened between one of them, 22F. A few weeks ago my boyfriend was over and he stepped on the trash can pedal to open the lid and a piece of the plastic broke off. The lid now opens halfway. Not all the way like it did before but it still works perfectly fine. I told my roommate what happened and she insisted on getting a whole new trash can. I told her the one that we have now works fine but if she wants to get a new one then I will pitch in on it. The trash can is just a regular step pedal trash can. She said that it was a few years old and it also has some rusting on it. It was bound to break at any point and one of us could have just as easily broken it had we stepped on it too hard. They're not meant to last forever. She sent me a $65 trash can that I thought was entirely too expensive, but ultimately I was willing to split it between the three of us, me, her, and our third roommate. A few nights ago she texted me and this conversation happened. She asked if I could send her money for the trash can and said it's $45. I divided this by three and sent 15. She told me that I was mistaken and I owe her $45. Her reason for me paying this is because my boyfriend was the one who broke it and it was hers that she brought from her previous apartment. 
she said she was being nice of four even offering to pay $15 for it. She also said that she wasn't going to ask our third roommate to pay at all because it wasn't her fault that it broke. She claimed that the one that we have now she paid $60 for, but I found the exact one at Walmart for $35 so I believe this was a lie. I responded to her with my reasoning, I ultimately told her I will send her $15 more, $30 total, because that is what the value of the trash can we have now is. I am completing an internship and not working at the moment so $45 is not something I want to spend my limited money on to simply throw our garbage away. I'd just be paying for an upgraded trash can that she would ultimately keep when we move out. I also don't see why it's not fair for our third roommate to pitch in if she wants an upgraded trash can because it's a shared item that we all use in the home. I could ask my boyfriend to send some money for it but I don't think my boyfriend should have to pay for it at all personally. At the end of the day he doesn't live here and it was just an accident that happened from regular wear and tear to a trash can. I sent her the money but she and I haven't spoken since this she's been ignoring me at home. Am I the asshole in this situation? Story 3 Am I in the wrong for this? For context I have feelings for a girl who up until like two days ago didn't know I had feelings for her. I knew she didn't reciprocate the feelings so no point in getting rejected. So for the past three to four months I've been trying to get over her while also staying with her friend. It's been going okay but it's been slow. So on the 10th she tells me a hey I have feelings for your best friend. Well first of all ouch, second of all my best friend knows I like her so there's an issue here. I decided to tell her that I have feelings for her and that I haven't wanted to tell her because I just wanted to be friends without the awkwardness. After explaining all that she asks me can I still go for your best friend? Now my heart hurts like hell but I decide to be supportive and say go for it. Well the next day my best friend says hey I know you like this girl but she told me she has feelings for me and I'm gonna tell her I like her too. I proceed to leave the house, drive 50 miles crying to my aunt and uncles and spend the night there. They are my place of comfort. Well the girl I have a crush on says hey is this gonna be an issue in our friendship because you told me to go for it and now we're dating. I know I told her to go for it but I also wanted her to get the hint that it's not a smart idea for the sake of our friendship. Where did I go wrong? 